Explosion. Nice. Hello, boss. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I can review that. No problem. I'll get it to you by the end of the day. Today is a special video because we will review the eight best antiviruses. Number one on the list is... Oh no. How was I supposed to know that the computer explosion virus would explode my computer? Anyway, now that my desktop is running again, we can get to the point of this video. Antiviruses. But before we get into this, let's address the elephant in the room. Do you even need to bother with antivirus software when Windows Defender exists? The short answer, probably yes. Why? Because good premium antiviruses aren't just limited to scanning software. They include a suite of excellent features that protect your email, connection data, and more across multiple operating systems. Xprotect on Apple does also do the same thing, while Linux users have, well, Nothing. You might say Linux is full of technical hipsters, so they don't have security errors, right? So knowing that all operating systems need antivirus software, how do I find a good one? Here are some quick tips. Number one, look for antivirus software that works across your preferred operating systems. Number two, look for those who include advanced security features like VPNs, ransomware protection, real-time protection, ad blocking software, password managers, and phishing protection. Number three, see if they have a free version of the software so you can test its PC load. After all, if your PC is older or you want to keep using it while scanning your computer, you'll need something lightweight. Number four, also stick with antivirus software with good reputations. Don't use them if they've been part of any leaks. So let's get started with our first option, Norton 360. Norton is one of the oldest antivirus software companies out there. Despite its age, it stood the test of time and continues to draw in new customers. AV Test has also consistently given Norton a top performer slot since 2016. And fun fact, you can get 83% off Norton with our discounted link in the description box below. In fact, you can grab discount links to any of the antiviruses that we mention here today. See, I told you it was fun. AV Test is an accredited third-party testing company for antiviruses, for those who don't know. We will be using their scores throughout this review. Regarding system load, Norton is pretty minimal. You can efficiently multitask with Norton running in the background. The usability and design of the platform are also reasonably straightforward. However, you will find that Norton prompts for tags and pop-ups are locked, which can be pretty annoying. Pricing varies from $20 to several hundred per year. More pay means more features, providing you with the antivirus, ransomware protection, password manager, cloud backup, and a VPN. The VPN has advanced features like split tunneling, a kill switch, and a no-log service. All of this is behind AES-256 security, the industry standard. Norton's VPN does compare to the premium VPNs that we review on the other videos. Identity theft protection through LifeLock has a million dollar protection package. One million dollars. That pays out if you want the insurance. This protection can go so far as to include data breach notifications, bank cards, and SSN alerts. Norton also offers specialized services for families who want to control their kids' screen time and mobile security. Its other service, Norton for Gamers, is another option for optimizing their gaming experience. However, performance improvements are mild at best, making it a bit of a joke. If you saw Facebook ads for Norton for Gamers, you might recall them getting laugh reacted off of social media. I guess Norton isn't allowed at the cool kids table. Norton is under the excellent rating on our list. Despite some odd marketing choices, it is excellent for scanning software and offers insured identity theft protection, making it better than most programs. Our next antivirus is Kaspersky or Kaspersky. While it doesn't have the same clout as Norton, it still lands high on the list because of its capabilities. Its ability to keep up with services like Norton and Windows Defender is handy. However, its software suite also provides performance optimization tools and anti-phishing tools. AV Test gave Kaspersky a perfect security score on its scanning software. 
so it offers a lot of features in a relatively inexpensive package. It also doesn't overload your computer, making it a lightweight program. Although it clears third-party audits, we cannot ignore the fact that it is headquartered in Russia, which could be problematic considering current events. You can get Kaspersky for about $30 per year. Its base package works for across three PCs, but it is specifically for Windows. If you also have Mac OS and Android options, then you'll need to pay an extra 10 bucks for Kaspersky Internet Security. Its advanced services include an ad blocker, adult content blocker, and webcam protection. This package is ideal for worried parents who don't want their kids on the wrong side of the internet. It also has a VPN for the prediction of connection and traffic logs. However, your per day bandwidth is only 300 megabytes, making other VPNs far more useful. Kaspersky's final offer costs another five bucks and is known as Total Security. It includes GPS child tracking features, cloud-based file protection, and a password manager. It's also the only level supporting iOS devices, which is an unusual decision. You can also add cloud data leak protection for $54. Just don't expect the extra insurance that you get from LifeLock. In many ways, Kaspersky's saving grace is the strong virus protection and prediction offered to kids. Security is excellent, but the features are somewhat limited. Slapping this one onto our tier's good level. Ah, I hate it when dad takes my internet security. <laughs> if you don't like VPN limits, then you can pick Malwarebytes, a company known for its phishing protection, VPN and ad blocking features. Unlike Kaspersky, it wasn't always known for its accurate scanners. It tends to become less precise with quick scans. You can see this in action on AV Test, where it has only become a top product in the past year. Malwarebytes seems to focus on providing a fast platform over a secure one. Its quick scan is blazing fast and has an incredibly low system load in the process. Regardless, a top product is a top product, justifying the price that sometimes gets over a hundred bucks. You pay for a company that blocks phishing websites, ads, and viruses with that money. However, you'll find that there is no attempt at identity theft protection, making it less comprehensive. However, it does make up for this by having a comparatively superb VPN. Malwarebytes VPN is pretty awesome, relying on the lightning fast WireGuard protocol. WireGuard is also known for its security, supporting advanced ciphers under 256 AES protection. You can also get a free trial to see how it works on your computer. So if your goal is to get the fastest antivirus, Malwarebytes is probably your best bet. However, its weak AV tests put it in the good tier. If you're looking for a bit of fantasy in your life, then try Bitdefender. Their website looks more like one of those sales websites which might turn people off. Regardless, don't let the website throw you off. It has been a top product via AV testing since 2016. Like Casper Sky, it decides to hide most of its protection behind Windows unless you want to pay extra money. It has a habit of low introductory prices that double after renewal. It also includes a password manager, file shredder, and link protection. Despite having these features, it doesn't significantly burden your computer. Its features also happen to be built around security. It offers anti-phishing protection that blocks more than 90% of dangerous websites. Its browser protections are also incredibly impressive, preventing most trackers from getting to you. The enhanced ransomware protection also automatically backs up and restores files. No more will you need to pay that ransom in exchange for your essential data. Bitdefender does it for you. You'll also notice a Bitdefender VPN. As you can see, it's improved much like the vulnerability assessment. This makes me assume that none of the other things are improved, and it gives me an idea. But if you're looking for improved protection, Bitdefender Total Security is your best choice. This plan includes support for five devices and includes the VPN. However, unlimited access to the VPN requires you to pay for another subscription. Also, its web protection, Mac OS, Android, and iOS support are hidden behind an even higher paid tier. Oh boy, paying even more money. Why can't I have no kids and three money? Still, this antivirus is excellent across all fronts. Despite having no identity theft protection in sight, its available features put it in the excellent category, Stellar AV testing doesn't lie. So let's move on to our next antivirus, AVG and Avast. Well, you're probably asking, why are these together? Back to you, Andy. Back to you all. Back to you, Andy. Back to you all. Well, back in 2016, Avast bought out AVG. So while the two are still running under different labels, they are virtually identical. 
you'll find that both of their AV testing scores are remarkably similar, giving them top product slots since 2018. Both are secure, have free iterations, and offer boot time scans and real-time protection. However, their free version is completely worthless on Windows and Apple, because they already have a free antivirus, Defender, and Xprotect. If you're looking for Android and iOS security for free, you've got a decent reason to download it. Otherwise, stick to what you know you have. Both software have a higher load than what's already available, so I just wouldn't bother with it. The next level of security varies slightly depending on what you choose, with costs ranging in small amounts from pennies to dollars. The lower end plans offers tools like real-time scanning and fake website spotting. The two also have advanced services under AVG Ultimate and Avast One. Both offer enhanced services like a VPN, breach monitoring if you have remote access, mobile device cleanup for removing files, and an online privacy browser. Avast One and AVG Ultimate cost the same, but AVG Ultimate renews at a higher rate after one year of service. You can also decide to buy individual protection pieces, but here's the thing. Why not combine your services? Merge AVG and Avast into a single package and offer the ultimate protection between the two. Instead, you should choose Avast if you want an easy to use interface and AVG if you want to cover more devices. If you've ever seen The Bachelor, you know the choices are hard. Oh yeah, antivirus reviews. I guess that we'll put AVG and Avast in the not terrible tier. They work, but the user interface and features make them a bit less useful than most options on the market. Our next one is something that you might be familiar with, McAfee. McAfee is a bit of a joke <laughs> antivirus as far as reputation goes. It comes pre-installed on many computers, often begging you not to use it. Security experts still find McAfee to be a fantastic antivirus program. AV testing has put it up at the top product slot since 2017. However, it does have a lab test failure under its belt, making it less secure than most. Basic coverage starts at $35 and offers real-time protection, identity monitoring, and one device VPN and antivirus. You can pay another $5 to increase your device count by five. Other features include a robust firewall with custom settings to prevent connections from getting in and out. It also offers many other features like website blocking, ransomware protection, and a website checker. Its ransomware protection makes copies of files and backs them up for your safety. Parental controls aren't optional with the upper tier. You'll also get web protection, a password manager, and a VPN at all levels. You are limited to five VPN licenses at the upper classes, with basic service only allowing one. And yes, it does offer AES-256 encryption. McAfee is a bit of a RAM goblin and has classically been a culprit of slowing down computers. However, a recent redesign has made them a bit more friendly but McAfee still has a lot of ground to cover before catching up. Because of this, it's in the not terrible category. It just scrapes by from being a meme because of its willingness to work on itself. Our last option, Avira, is a free antivirus alternative with some premium options. Avira doesn't have the stellar reputation many other antiviruses do on this list. However, its free offer and simple interface makes it a decent program. AV testing also considers Avira to be pretty good since 2015. On paper, everything seems normal. Avira offers performance tools, excellent password management, and a free, albeit simple, VPN. If you go to its website, you won't see a single mention of pricing on the screen. That's because Avira likes to hide its pricing behind a wall. It is inexpensive, but what we call a womp womp regarding transparency. This can be annoying once you find out that most features are behind that paywall. What it does find removing malware, it doesn't do anything more than Windows Defender or Xprotect. Its web protection has also been known to struggle with removing phishing attempts. You do get alright ransomware protection at least. The program is quick and efficient across all devices, but doesn't boast any significant features. Other antiviruses simply do better, making this a meme antivirus. Now before we move on, I'd like to ask you to leave us a like and share this video with your friends and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And if you didn't enjoy this video, then why are you even here? That was weird. Oh well. Leave a comment or two if you felt that we missed any antiviruses, and thanks for stopping by.